Rising on the outside. And in the center of the track, Better Lucky is coming to. Judy the Beauty has taken the lead. Better Lucky on the far outside is charging after her. Here's Better Lucky. Judy the Beauty. Judy the Beauty holds on. Better Lucky was second. Thank you, Mary Lou. Came back for third. And Stone Tastic was fourth in a final time of 1 minute 21.92 seconds. No groupie doll, no problem for Judy the Beauty, runner-up. Just add that to another one of Mike Smith's Breeders' Cup wins. He has the most out of all jockeys, and we have the absolute pleasure of having Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith on the line with us. Mike, how are you doing today? Good morning, Britt. How are you? Feeling wonderful. Got Dave Weaver here with me as well. I mean... Morning, Dave. Oh. <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> you, uh, we, we have a picture of you. Um, from it looks like a long time ago, and we're gonna show it to everyone right now. Can you take us through this picture? <laughs> when is this from? <laughs> I've been growing that since birth. <laughs> yeah, what happened? Yeah, to, what happened to that mustache? Oh, it was time to she started looking like a, a dead squirrel, so I had to I had to shave it off. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you here? Yeah, this is a black and white picture, Mike. Come on, you're dating yourself. Yeah, here. I know, I know. It's I think I'm probably like 16 or 17, I believe. Oof. Well, like that. well, as we're all familiar with, Mike Smith is one of the best jockeys around across the country. Hall of Famer, two-time Eclipse Award winner for Outstanding Jockey. But you have a very, very wonderful mount this weekend on Shared Belief. It's the showdown of the year so far. How excited are you? Oh, extremely. I'm uh, actually in the gym right now training for it. <laughs> I'm just really, really getting up for it. It's, uh, it's a great race. It's one that fans have been waiting for and can't wait for Saturday to come. Yeah, the uh, the showdown, the Breeders' Cup Classic, obviously didn't go as you would have hoped. Uh, you had that that rough start and uh, just weren't able to really get involved down the stretch and and catch California Chrome for for third. They of course were you know one two three across the wire and you were a few lengths back. But how much do you think that start affected shared belief that day? Hey, it wasn't just the start. I mean, the start was certainly a big part of it. But on down the racetrack, you know, I mean, he got knocked around again. It was just a rough trip for him. It was too bad because he was really doing well and, you know, ready to run his A race and never got a chance to. And, and all that, though, he still ran extremely well. I was really proud of, of how hard he tried anyway. And then uh, Eclipse Award goes to California Chrome. Shared belief was the favorite uh, in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Who knows where, where the betting is going to go uh, in the San Antonio. But uh, obviously you, you have to have a lot of confidence still in shared belief. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, like I said, really excited about him running. You know, uh, he came back and he, he ran back in the Malibu uh, going 7 8, which we all know is pretty pretty short for him. He wants to run a whole lot further, and the long shot had won the race, and everyone was saying, well, who did he beat? Well, then that long shot came back, uh, Conquest Two Step, and, and just beat a great field of horses uh, just the other last week. So, I mean, it was a it was a good race to come out of. They say he's training really well, and like I said, I'm, I'm excited about Saturday. Oh, we can't wait for that showdown. I'm sure you're, you're not only going to be keeping your eye on California Chrome, a opportunity, a horse that you rode to a second-place finish in last year's San Anita Derby is going to be in there as well. So you're probably not taking that field too lightly. I take no one lightly when it comes to you know, those caliber races. They're all, they're all in there for a reason. I mean, they're all extremely talented, and, and, and at some point or some time, they can all kind of run their A-plus race and beat you. So you got to be, you got to take everyone seriously. Opportunity looks amazing right now as well, so going to be a great race. Now, Mike, you've had your fair share of really impressive mounts, and sometimes those mounts clash. So obviously you're riding shared belief. How much does it help you having ridden other horses that are in the race prior to that actual race? Well, I mean, I, I know their, their strengths and their weaknesses, uh, which, which certainly helps. Uh, but like I said before, they're also talented. I also know how, how dangerous they can be. So, you know, I take, again, no one lightly, and uh, I certainly went straight places with, with anybody in the race. So that, that's a good sign. <laughs> oh, that's a huge plus. Now, obviously, shared belief running in the San Antonio this Saturday, but you also have uh, plenty of Kentucky Derby hopefuls that you have ridden. You have the mount on Imperia in the Risen Star. What can you tell us about this horse? I'm excited about riding him. I, you know, I don't know much about him as far as you know getting on him. I've never been on him before, but I've watched his races. Uh, he looks really good. Uh, they say he's really coming to from his two to three year old year. He's really grown, and 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 they're really excited about this horse. And it, you know, you get Karen McLaughlin and those connections excited about a horse, so that just makes you excited about one. Even if I hadn't been on him yet. 
Well, you won the Delta jackpot with Ocho, Ocho, Ocho. Is that the horse that right now you would say you are committed to leading up to the Kentucky Derby, or is that something that changes race to race? Well, as you well know, I mean, these, these three-year-olds are athletes, man. Things happen. You get as many great ones as you can and, and hope that you have one when it gets down to it. Uh, you know, I was all the way up and with opportunity up to the day before uh, last year and didn't even get to participate in it. So, you know, you just want to ride as many talented one as, ones as you can, and, and, and uh, it's, uh, you know, the rest will kind of sort itself out, so to say. Now, speaking of talented horses, I noticed in an article that you were set to ride Bolo in the Robert B. Lewis Stakes, but then I also read that maybe Bolo wasn't going to go in that race. Do you know any sort of updates on that horse? From what I understand, I, I, I don't believe he's going to run. I mean, the odds are against him probably running, but they hadn't totally ruled it out yet. Uh, and exactly why, I hadn't really got a chance to sit down with Carla and, and, and find out exactly why or what the game plan is. Uh, whether he's going to run, not run, where he's going to run next, but we'll just have to wait and see. But as of right now, I believe he's, he's not going to run. Again, that, that could change. Of course, <laughs> these things do change day to day in Bolo, an incredible uh, turf horse. Now, Mike, I have to ask, you have had some really incredible moments throughout your expansive career. What do you attest it to? I mean, I know that you have, su you're such a positive guy in general, but is this just something that every day you get excited to do and regardless of win or lose, you just have so much passion in it? Yeah, it's funny. Uh, the older I get, the, the, the more I'm enjoying it, uh, which is a, a good thing. Uh, I'm supposed to be thinking about retirement, and here I am looking for this year's top three-year-old, and, and, and we can't wait till the two-year-olds come around. Uh, I'm just having a great time. I'm, I'm so blessed riding for the, you know, getting the opportunities that I'm getting right now and riding these great horses and, and you know, not having to, to ride a whole lot to do so, uh, which saves on the wear and tear in your body. And, you know, if I can keep this up, I'd love to go another five, six, maybe even seven years. We'll see. Why well, not? You're obviously working hard <laughs> to do that. Uh, back on the treadmill, Mike. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. I, I, I'm getting all my cardio in a day. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us this morning, and best of luck with all of, your, all of your horses running this weekend. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Yeah, you too, Mike. Bye-bye.